Welcome to Celebrating Act 2. Celebrating Act 2 is the user manual for the second half of your life. Hi, I'm Donna Lynn from The Body Fit Solution and welcoming you to Short and Sweet on Celebrating Act 2. I'm going to teach you an exercise and a nutritional tip to keep you healthy and strong. Now, we're, today we're going to work on the core, the glutes, and the shoulders. Now, i got a question for you. Where can you find a 3-4 and the benefits all at the same time besides movement? I want to know. You can let me know in the comments below. But today's work gives us stability, which is, we know, a major factor, a major ingredient to keep us active as we mature. And toning. Toning those glutes, because we don't like saggy bottoms. All right, let's get going. Now we're going to get on our hands and knees. So our hands are going to come right under our shoulders and our knees right under our hips. All right. We're going to pull our abdominals in so we have belly button to the ceiling. All right. And you want to keep that back flat. So I don't want you rolling over like this. Take those shoulder blades and just slide them down your back and pull this in. So this should look nice and flat. And one more little pointer. You want to see a little box under here. So we're going to keep that box shape. Okay. Alrighty, now we're going to pick up a leg here. I'm going to bring my foot in just a little, give me a little more balance. I can come up on my toe like this, or I can put my shoestring down. Now the shoestring down, take a little more work, so you can work your way up to that. Now I'm going to take the other foot, I'm going to bend the knee, and I'm going to push that heel through the mud. Push the heel through the mud and straighten that leg all the way up. Now there's a couple things here with this. I don't want to sag the belly. I want to keep that belly button nice and tight. Keep the um, waistband up to the ceiling. All right. And I don't want the leg way down here. I want the leg even with my body. So I've got to squeeze my glutes to get it there. Okay. I'm going to show you on the next leg. <laughs> like as if I have 10, right? <laughs> All right? I'm going to show you on this outside leg so that you can see more of what I'm doing. So I'm going to push that heel through the mud, nice and tight. Now my core is tight, my glutes are tight, my uh, thigh is tight. And then I'm going to point that toe and bring that leg all the way over right to about my waistline, bring it back, and then bring it in. All right? Now I'm going to scoot up just a little bit here so I don't run into the sofa. Try that again. So abs are engaged, shoulders are back and down. Now I'm going to take that leg, I'm going to push that heel through the mud, keeping my torso nice and straight and still. And then I'm going to point that toe and bring that leg over to the side, pull it in, take it back, push, around, bring it in, push, around, bring it in, push, around, and bring it in. Good. That's kind of fun, right? No more saggy bottoms, right? <laughs> All right. You know complex carbohydrates are really important for us and important for our health and the nutrients that they give us, and that includes fruit. I know people get nervous about fruit because they think it has a lot of sugar, but that natural sugar in fruit is way different from table sugar or processed sugar. Very different animals, right? Now that fruit can actually help you keep your waistline in check not make it bigger, and when you eat just two servings a day, now you should have more than that, but when you eat just two servings a day, you actually keep your blood sugar level and you reduce your risk for diabetes too. Now, that's pretty good. Now here's the best thing about fruit. It has lots of fiber, a lot of photochemicals, a lot of uh, antioxidants, just tons of stuff in it, and it tastes so good. How can you refuse it, yeah? So make sure you put a little fruit on that plate today, right? That is a great treat and a great way to have a dessert, a piece of fruit. But here's the caveat with that fruit. 
No juicing. Don't juice it. <laughs> Eat the fruit whole. You know, a glass of orange juice has about eight oranges in it. You couldn't possibly eat eight oranges in one sitting. Besides, you miss the fiber and it's a whole lot more calories. <laughs> so let's cut the calories down. Let's eat more fiber and eat that fruit whole. And next time you might want to try some berries. Mm, really good for you. So I want to invite you to my new site called Vigor and Trim, where it's a health and fitness membership site for those of us over 50, and we give you personalized workout experience. In the meantime, I'll look to see you next week on Short and Sweet in Celebrating Act 2. For more on Celebrating Act 2, visit our webpage, follow us on Facebook, subscribe to us on YouTube, and tell your friends, Celebrating Act 2 is the user manual for the second half of your life.